In our first scenario, screens are omnipresent and form the basis of a highly personalized Internet of Things world. They are interfaces to a connected environment that provides functionalities in all areas of life, with media consumption only one use case among many. Since production costs for basic visualization units are low, a multitude of screens is present in all sizes, form factors and resolutions and with a varying number of sensors. In addition to privately owned screens, numerous smart digital displays are set up in public spaces for applications like navigation, transportation, local public services and shopping. Messages on screens are personalized centrally, based on the all-encompassing ecosystems and operating systems owned by two to three digital platform providers. These DPCs gather and process enormous quantities of user-specific data and offer their targeted services seamlessly across devices. In this world, screens have become degraded to pure visualization units with few sensors and touch functionalities. Their brain power is centralized in the cloud and managed by DPCs. OEMs receive little benefit from the large number of screens, which are a commodity and bought solely as inexpensive hardware products, then programmed and adapted for the DPC's purposes. For developers of functionality apps, screens mean their services are available everywhere and at all times, making them essential for IoT-based services and connected business models. Media companies depend on cooperation models with DPCs to get their content distributed efficiently to screens. Digital platform companies are the winners in this scenario. Thanks to screens, they generate, process and monetize vast amounts of data and are enablers for an interconnected screen landscape.